Well, I'm a geologist, and my name is Digby McLaren. I got interested in extinctions. Of course, I was doing routine geology and, uh, and explaining and describing the, the rocks we found and, and uh, trying to interpret their structures and also what, what their uh, economic value might be. But uh, I got interested in the problem of, of extinctions and suggested in, in the 19, late 1960s that uh, an extinction horizon, that means it's of a certain age all over the world, was caused by a, a, an asteroid impact. And uh, this was laughed at at the time, but uh, after about 20 years, it's finally been proved to be pretty, pretty conclusively true. And that was a lot of excitement too. I, I traced it all over the world in, uh, in uh, Russia, Australia, and China, as well as in uh, Europe and, uh, and in Canada and the United States. It must be very satisfying when you when you have theories and then you prove them. Well, it is. You're never, you're never 100% proved, of course, but you have a lot of fun arguing with people because everybody falls in love with their own model of what they think is right, and, uh, and you have a lot of fights and arguments. But, of course, uh, th these people are also my friends, so <laughs> we enjoy fighting. Okay, well, that's good. That's great. Okay, off the topic of geology for, for just a moment, I understand you just came back from Berlin, and I want to ask you a little bit about the Pugwash Conference and what, what that is and what you spoke about at that time? Well, the Pugwash Conference began with Albert Einstein and Bertrand Russell, the great philosopher, the English philosopher. Uh, they um, wrote a letter to uh, Roosevelt, no, subsequently, sorry, this is, uh, they wrote a letter to, to the President of the United States and to other, other, pre other countries, uh, warning of the dangers of, of, of nuclear proliferation and uh, in the in the 50s they they started a they had a big conference or a, no a small conference of scientists from all over the world after the iron curtain had started including the russians so that scientists from all over the world could talk about the dangers of nuclear war and this started uh, it was paid for by the, the, the um, american industrialist cyrus eaton who was quite a radical and they've held it ever since. This was, I've just been to the 40 42nd Pugwash Conference. That's annual conference, although they hold, they hold smaller conferences and working groups all, all, around, all, all, all the time. These are very influential people who are trying to prevent uh, the instabilities that arise from weaponry and now from many other things that are worrying us. And the reason I'm in the movement now is because I'm very interested in population. And uh, we are beginning, the Pugwash have been persuaded to consider that perhaps population is one of the more dangerous uh, uh, things that is happening in the world today. Just to give you an idea, when I was born, there were 1.8 billion people on the world. And if I live to be 80, there'll be over 6 billion people on the world. Now that is a crisis. It's completely unique. It's never happened before. In fact, we, we, uh, the world never reached uh, a billion people until 1850. And now we've got runaway inflation. We're adding a billion every 30 or 40 years. Uh, adding, no, doubling uh, every 30 or 40 years. We're adding a billion every 10 years. And this is a terrible, terrible uh, problem. And, uh, and people are not willing to talk about it, and they're not willing to do much about it. And yet it's, it's impossible. So this is what we were discussing in Berlin, among other things, of course. But Have were any suggestions made as to how this may be controlled? Well, um, it, it requires a change in, uh, in our approach, in our, in our morality, and in the way we, we consider women. And uh, it, requires a, um, it requires a massive effort uh, in family planning, in birth control, in education and in medical care and attention, all at once, as fast as possible. It is perfectly, po it is quite possible to change the reading rate of a, of, a, of, a, of a race or of a country in a very short time, if uh, if the government supports it, or if there, or is and in China there's coercion, or in Indonesia where they've had a very successful program. But uh, this is a panic, and uh, there may be. It may even interfere with people's personal freedom, but it is nothing to what is going to happen if we don't do something.